Hello, welcome to the show. This show is powered and brought to you by Sunday Cool, mm. the coolest Sunday of cools. Don't believe me? Listen to this person talking about this, and we definitely didn't just hand them a script to read. Hi. Hey, everybody. My name is Blake. Have you heard of Sunday Cool? Wait five seconds. One Mississippi. Two Mississippi. Three Mississippi. Four Mississippi. Five Mississippi. You haven't? That's crazy. We print all the softest shirts with the coolest designs. We even do stickers, hoodies, water bottles, anything you want to put your logo or design on. We got you. Now, I, I gotta get out of here. That was really good. <laughs> that was good. That, was <laughs> that worked, right? Yeah. Way to go. Thanks, man. Yay, we did it. <laughs> this is Blake, everyone. And he, Blake. Can, he can count sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Present. The gray cat. Hello, this is a gray cat. Finance advice. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is that, that from? I've heard it's, that. It's uh, it's from that bad friend podcast. Uh, <laughs> they do. They make fun of uh, fancy being. Finance advice. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, oh, are we ready? We're ready. I'm ready. ready. I'm ready. 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 One, two, three. Round two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> <clears throat> now can you see that it is ninjas on butterflies it is episode 24 and that's all right ninjas are ninjas are butterflies ninjas are ninjas are butterflies Save me. Save us from ourselves right now, they don't. Wow. Well you, you messed up the harmony at one point. You messed up at the beginning. You're supposed to lead into the chorus. You did it wrong. <laughs> I didn't do it wrong. You did it wrong. You're supposed to end it a little bit higher. Your word against mine. Yeah, I guess. Guilty. Hey, <laughs> everyone. Oh, wait. Not yet. Oh. I forgot about something. Oh, no. Uh-oh. This was sent in by a viewer. Okay. This question. I'm ready. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> Today's is it a question. tough one? Is it heavy? Some would say. Okay. Some would say. Some Majority would say. wouldn't, but some. Some. And that's enough. You'll see. <laughs> Today's question. Is terrorism really that terrible? Ooh. I'm not even going to make a joke yes it is that terrible and it's yeah. even it is even even more terrible than terrible that's not even the right word for it great yeah. greatly terrible no it i don't even want to say great it's terrible it's bad <laughs> terrible terror I'm, I'm gonna go on the record right now and say terrorism bad mm, andrew yeah terrorism thousand percent terrible mm. you um is terrorism terrible yes Stop looking at me like that. Stop. Lil, Look Lil, away. What Lil, do you think, Lily? Look away. It's, I, it seems like a pretty easy answer. To, it is an easy the answer. The fact that you're hesitating right now no. says a lot about not, you as no a person. Hesitating. Why is that so hard for you? Listen. It's a yes or, it's a yes okay. or no. Yeah. Terrorism is terrible. Period. But. Stop looking at me. Seems Welcome like to the show. <laughs> Seemed like a butt was coming. I don't know. <laughs> it did seem like a butt was coming. <laughs> Seems Sorry. like someone walking through a um, uh, um, walking through a doorway backwards because there was a butt coming. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the show, oh ladies gosh. and gentlemen. But, but, wow, butts, <laughs> um, butts. butts. Episode 24. Wow. We're here, baby. And guess what two days ago was? <gasps> it's your birthday. It's, it's your my birthday. birthday to me. To Happy you. birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy. Yep. Thank you. Happy birthday. 
How old are you, Andy? I am 29. 29 wow. and feeling fine. I'm feeling fine. 29? 29? 29? 29? 29? 29? Oh, yeah, you get to do that. I know, all year long, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Even though tech, someone's like, don't you think, and it's, you know, but when I get to 29, I've already survived 29 years of life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, technically, I'm 30 almost. No, that's right? not how time works. No. Well, in, Where South, is it? in yeah. South Korea, they start at one. When you're born, you're one. Yeah. Yeah. You're, Which I think it should be that way. You're in your 30th year. In my 30th year, yeah. That's what I'm going to say. Hitty, hitty. I'm in my... Danoon in his 30th of his year. <laughs> Hereby in his 30th year. Hereby. Ting, ting. <laughs> ting, ting. <laughs> That's a that? sword. Oh. <laughs> you, know how, you know when swords they, touch the shoulder yeah. gently, they make the ting, ting noise, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, when yeah, you're yeah. knighted. Yeah. Um, we do have a surprise for you. Um, me and Andrew, mainly Andrew... Stayed up late last night, um, and he wrote you a song. I'm really scared. This is all I, I, literally, I legit forgot this was going to be uh, next week, and so and I forgot what next week was. So this is actually really surprising. Yeah. Okay. Um, here we go. I'm excited. I have no idea what to expect. I a song written. You had to for fix me. it, Dad, because I because it wouldn't fit in the fridge. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right. <laughs> the fridge. <laughs> How's uh? I'm kind of sitting at a weird angle. Can the camera see me, even though I'm hunched over? Josh, Wait, I have it over here. I. Yeah, uh, I would. I would face the other way so that they could see your face. But you are in frame. I'm, I'm excited. I'm struggling. Try to, don't look over here yet. Don't okay. look. Birthday princess. Birthday princess. Ooh. Okay. Are we ready? I'm ready. 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 All legends, stories, myths, and lore we <laughs> have heard from both near and far, but none doth resonate. You see, like the tale of our dear Andy. Andy. Oh. None know the land from whence he comes, nor knows the man whose youth did sum his origin cloaked in mystery. No Vader here, so we will sing. No mirage dinya to our young knight. We toast to your staggering might. It's true that you can cook and bake, but for your day we bought you cake. Oh, Andy. Oh, Andy. Oh, Andy. Oh, Andy. Andy. Snow mirage dinya. Oh, that is glorious. Wow. wow. That was terrific. That was good. Thank Wasn't you it? so much. That was hilarious. I love Cloaked in Mystery. That is like, <laughs> I felt like I was a warrior back in like just traveling through like a long journey. Well, do you know what? Um, wow. Do you know what Snom Raj Dinya means? No, I don't. Please tell me. <laughs> it means happy birthday in Russian. <gasps> <laughs> of course it does. Yeah. Speaking of, um, here's some chicken wings because you like chicken wings. And we could, we couldn't get them from Frogger's Wear because they weren't open yet. I love it. Chocolate, chocolate and wings, cake and wings. <laughs> That's really great. And you Thank got a Mountain you. Dew. Look at that. Twenty nine. Twenty nine. Twenty nine. Thanks, guys. That was a really beautiful song. I Snom- love that. Snom Rajdinya. <laughs> Snom. Snom Rajdinya. Snom Mars. Nope. Don Reem Reemba. <laughs> Snow Rush Diarrhea. <laughs> I, I have to tell a story about writing that song. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, Josh it. sends me a message. He's like, you should definitely write a song. We'll do it on the podcast. And so Paige is getting ready for bed. And I'm like trying to, you know, the first few lines I write are just awful. And then I come up with, you know, I'm going to look up happy birthday in Russian. So I start singing this. And Paige looks around the corner and is like, what on <laughs> earth? It's just that this, is hilarious. This it's sad like Filipino dude. Like, yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's when Paige discovers that Andrew's been a Russian spy this yeah. whole time. Well, speaking of Russian spy, Uh-oh. we have something to talk about. Yep. I'm not a Russian spy. <gasps> Speaking of Russian spy, I'm not one. <laughs> we got really excited. Yeah, we look at we just this comes up Russian. because um, you were at Word of Life camp talking, doing your whole <laughs> talking, thing, doing some stuff, doing some stuff there, and they have this thing called the penguin slide, and they it's in at night and it's really cold, and you slide you s- down into, into a giant three thousand pounds of ice into Oof. ice water, very cold. There's a picture of Andy where he comes up from the water, and he looks. Like a Russian communist god. See, <laughs> <laughs> you look like you lifted the three pa- thousand pounds. Yeah, of ice. <laughs> <laughs> this ice water is nothing to me. 
Snowman Sars in ya. You say happy birthday. <laughs> what is he saying? That's the only Russian I know now. Um, so yeah, see, the thing well, is. Let me just, here's the picture. Oh, we'll just put it here somewhere. Um, yeah. So look at them. Look at your traps. Huge. We all had the same experience because I had seen it earlier on my, I was like, wait, <laughs> wait. <laughs> whoa, whoa, what? And Josh said, was like, did you see that picture of Andy earlier? I, I messaged like, so many people it about it. <laughs> I'm like, look at Andy. Um, but I, like, yeah. I, sh- I had to shield Paige from the photo. I was like, yeah, no, she's I don't like, want you to see this. Oh, my lanta. Like, who is that? You know the person that wasn't um, impressed by it? Kelsey? Kelsey. Oh, was just no. Like, was like, she was like, oh, that's such a cool picture. And <laughs> like, yeah, but... Yeah, but look. <laughs> yeah, but like if I like sent that like to like WWE, do you think they would like like let me just like just try out for a little so while? She's, or? She, <laughs> she's seen that before. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. Occasionally. Yeah. Just waking yeah. up in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> what do you what's your trap exercise? I'm gonna start. For I just, real though, that of the whole photo, that just blew my mind. I think it's um because uh I don't think I'm very intelligent. So when I ask a lot of questions, like people are like, Don't you know this? And I go, I don't know. <laughs> Just all my life, all my life is just, I don't know. You're a shrugger. <laughs> so many no, no. I have no idea. So it pays to not know. Exactly. <laughs> That's right, kids. Um, but yeah, uh, so we did a whole yeah. thing on ninjas or butterflies and Instagram. The, and the only thing that you have that's pinning me down as a potential Russian spy is just because of how I look. So that's the thing. Your case doesn't hold up. There's a bunch of holes in it. I'm not a Russian well, spy. Well, you also Most, don't know your heritage. I was about yeah. to say that. <laughs> you imagine hey. if we did Ancestry and I was like, it was 100% just Russia. But <laughs> also, your story mm-hmm. from your childhood, you moved around a whole lot. You yep. did. sure did. And, you your, could- and your stepdad built golf courses <laughs> yeah. yeah no one builds golf no courses one builds golf courses <laughs> they're like that that's why they're grass and <laughs> rocks and stuff i'm just saying you could be um like putin's illegitimate son that he doesn't know about oh man mm. what a what a story that would be what would happen also your sister welds she, she does. does underwater that's, welding, right? <laughs> that that's, seems like a Russian thing. That woman seems thing like to a do. pretty <laughs> Russian womanly thing to do. <laughs> What's your sister's name? Helga. I don't know. <laughs> Helga. Um. Yeah. But uh. So we're. I'm. I'm gonna collect some more evidence. Uh, yeah. When we talked about the answers, I think you did mention Russian. Yeah. Like when he you did. Like when you guess when you guessed um, mm-hmm. on what you think mm-hmm. of me, I'm interested to know. I'm in. I'm also interested to know if I'm a Russian spy. Yeah. Because <laughs> maybe I'm in too deep. Maybe they've programmed me and. You have I, a camera like, in your eyes. And I, I just have, a, a, what is it, the, a one word that just makes me snap. Uh-oh. Mm. Like they're waiting for the, like they've have, they've planted me. And as soon as I hear Comrade. like. <laughs> Comrade Thunberg. And then it's like. Oh. <laughs> Pineapple juice. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, Maybe. Yeah. yeah, so there's that. I fit all the criteria for a Russian spy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> eating chocolate cake with mountain. <laughs> just dipping my chicken wing in the <laughs> um yeah so um it's episode 24 yeah mm-hmm. craziness crazy yeah. you go back to work tomorrow tomorrow, tomorrow. maternity and leave is over yeah i think that you're excited about it because you said the other day you're like man you get hung up on things <laughs> <laughs> and I, I was like it's because i had so like so many things have happened not hung up on the, she just she fixate on <laughs> things yeah you c- one you could say hung up yeah but i, suppose. It's I just, love that that's probably like if I, it probably wasn't but if that was the first thing you said to her in the morning man you get hung up i think good morning to you too <laughs> <laughs> but i had uh, like i just keep bringing up the same thing or like different parts of the same thing like um like she's been trying to pick out a dress for my cousin's wedding uh-huh for four months now <laughs> and i have about how long did it take you to find your dress for your wedding <laughs> not that long. Yeah. <laughs> not that long. And she sends she at one day she sent me like ten screenshots of these dresses. She's like, which one? Yeah. I said, I don't, I don't care. Yeah, but uh, you make it hard because you're like, I don't like them, and I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, there's well, some of them I don't like, and I'm like, okay, well, you're making this so challenging. But then I brought it up the other day, and he was like, if you talk to me about dresses one more time, I'm jumping off a building. <laughs> no, so I'm gonna run my head through the wall. <laughs> um, but and her then, her recent thing, she's like on. Um, so you know that. Um, Chinese family was staying with my parents. Yeah, um, it was a cultural experience. It was awesome. Yeah, they they don't drink cold water; they only drink hot water. Yeah, and it's really good for your digestion and stuff. So Lily's been on this kick of drinking hot water with lemon, <laughs> and just throughout the day, she's asking me questions like, um, "Do you think hot water still hydrates you?" <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then and then I'll be like, man, just the hot water didn't hit as well as cold water. You know, I just keep bringing it up. And then I said something the other day too. I was like, uh, oh, I forget. But then you were like, man, shut up about the hot water. Dude. <laughs> Enough about the hot water. <laughs> shut up about the sun. I said, dude, I have nothing going on right now. <laughs> this is all I've this got. This is all I'm doing right now. Yeah. So. What a what a great what what a great problem to have though. Is like that's is. your biggest problem. It's like hot water still hydrate you. <laughs> yeah. It reminds me of uh, the one time I was watching Kelsey I hang out with Kelsey and I looked over and I watched her eat a hot Cheeto <laughs> and she and she took it out and she took another one out of the bag and she looked at it and then she blew on it and then <laughs> Put it in her mouth. I, I do that. I was like, Kelsey, it's hot, but it's not that kind of hot. I've caught myself doing that with ice cream. <laughs> I'm like, what am I doing? <laughs> um, so funny. Yeah. Speaking of uh, marriage stuff with mm-hmm. Lily, um, I have a question for you guys. Okay. So the other night. Last um, night. No, it was two nights ago. No, it was last night. Oh. We're off no, it wasn't. It was start. two nights ago. <laughs> I love that she's like, no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Oh, yeah, it was two nights ago. Yes, it was two nights ago. Goodness gracious. Um, it doesn't matter anyway. Yeah, don't get hung up. I know, but why, it doesn't matter. Josh, don't get hung up. <laughs> don't you, it, doesn't, it really doesn't matter. <laughs> don't you love those? But you have to point it out. Don't you love those couples when they go to, like, they're hanging out with you and they're just like, they're like, oh, and the guy's like, yeah, so, like, last, you know, like, on Wednesday, we were, we were playing a game and then suddenly, Tuesday. and then he's like, it was Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Sure. Okay. Um, um, <laughs> anyways, Lily got up and she sleeps with 20 million pillows and- I only never, that, only I, that many? No, no, I do not. So hold on, too. <laughs> like let's or talk hey. about no. let's talk about what you said last night. Because what? you had chucked all the important pillows off the bed before bed before you, we turned the lights hold out. Hold on, you can't say important pillows right after saying I don't have a ton of pillows. They're important. Mm-hmm. They serve a purpose. <laughs> and I said you have no idea what goes on at night. That's what I said, because I need that pillow for nursing and then for changing the diaper after so she could sit up so a little bit. you just chuck him on the floor? He chucked him on the floor like he doesn't okay. even know my feng shui. But then, but then. <laughs> you said. No, listen. <laughs> she, took, she took one of her pillows and then threw it off the bed. And she's like, actually, I want that pillow. No, I, no, that's not <laughs> what I did. I hit you in the face with it on purpose. <laughs> and then you threw it off after I hit you with it. Oh, that's and right. And I was yeah, like, yeah. wait, I really need that. <laughs> Anyways. But, but this- you said. What did you say to me? I don't remember. I said, these are the important pillows. And you said, and I said, you have no idea what goes on at night. And you said, what about the mothers, the unreached mothers (laughs) in Rwanda that are nursing and all they're thinking is, man, I had more pillows. Man, I wish I had more pillows. (laughs) That would make my night so much easier. (laughs) And you're like, what about clean drinking water? That's (laughs) what you said. They're more worried about how they're going to feed their children and get them clean drinking water. And Lily's like... (laughs) I need those pills. They're so important to me. Oh my gosh. Um, They're just trying to figure out how to get some hot water with lemon. (laughs) (laughs) They probably drink just hot water. That's why I brought up to her. She's like, she's like, do you think like hot water is like hydrates or whatever? I'm like, since the dawn of man, they've probably been drinking like hot water. (laughs) Yeah. And (laughs) they're all hydrated. So yeah. I suppose I mean boiled water. Does that, does that Mm. hydrate you? Purified water doesn't hydrate you, doesn't it? It doesn't. No, not to the same degree. I've heard that. Like I've it, like it removes that. all the minerals and stuff to where it's like, it's actually not good for you to drink. Interesting. That I was my that. question. I don't yeah. think that's true. But that's how There's you make no, it clean, though. You too. look it up. Look it up <clears throat> while we're talking about this. Um, so this pillow, um, Lily says, "Hey, where's my blue pillow?" Mm-hmm. I said, "Blue pillow," <laughs> and I said, "You mean this gray one?" And she's like, "That's blue." I said, "What are you talking about?" So my question is. Be real, real. Okay. You have to be very honest. Yeah. What color is this pillow? You shouldn't have told him which one one of us said, because now he's inclined to. That's no, but no, maybe. that you think that, but I think that's blue. That's like a, that's Shut that's up. a blue shade. It's blue. It's that's a, a blue maybe shade. It has a hint of blue. It's like a icy blue. This is a gray, like a steel gray. No. If I had to like like if I had to put it down, I would say it's more blue than gray. Andrew, that's gray as heck. That's what I'm saying. Look at it in the shadows. <laughs> It's that, a blue. To me, it looks even more blue. Look, no, what? it's even more blue. You're just doing. This. I'm not just doing I'm g- this. I'm gonna pull rank because I color grade most things we do. Give me I'm the gray gonna- card. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the gray card. Gray. That's gray, my it's guy. It's blue. It's blue. 
Hold on. It comes with a matching sheet. And look you at that. Think look that, that. Look at that. Look at that. Gray? Look at that. Look at That's blue, bro. I will eye Not drop. Close. I will eye drop the pillow while editing. Take a screenshot of where <laughs> the eye drop lands and put that over the podcast. That's a gray pillow. Call that sky because that's blue. I want to hear from the audience. Yeah, what do you guys think? <laughs> Gray or blue? It's blue. No, it's not. Lily, what color do you think Josh is? His body? <laughs> <laughs> you can say skin color. Oh. <laughs> skin? I don't know. What is that on New Girl? It's like, Winston, if you think that's black, what color do you think you are? <laughs> yeah. We just tried to rewatch it, and Josh is like, I'm over this already. And I'm like, oh, oh new I'm girl? into it. Yeah. It's the perfect it, background the, show. It, but. The first season, I think you just kind of have to get through the first yep. season it's a little hard. bit. Because yeah. we, when Paige tried to bring me into it, I did the same thing. I was like, no. The 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 switch yeah. is Winston. It is. The switch when is Winston. Winston yeah. his you mean the second she, episode? <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, when because he, he, in the first season, he's like kind of like that. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like jockey, yeah. Mr. Cool. Yeah. 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 But then but he became the weirdo. He became the weirdo. Yeah. But I I just love every time I think of New Girl, I just think of there's eggshells up all of these eggs. <laughs> that, that's my favorite line <laughs> from Miss the Day, whole show. Miss Day, there's eggshell, eggshells all up in these eggs. There's shells all up in here. <laughs> it's so the way, funny. The way he looks at her. So but it was, like, it was like they didn't even like acknowledge it. You're, oh, my um, gosh. Your Billy Eichner to me always makes me think of Schmidt. I get them intermingled when you say I'm a white man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Typical. Do it. It's so funny. Wait, so how does it go? Like uh, uh, the Took a, the kid. A, 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 man, a white man came in here and took the kid. A white man! <laughs> Typical! <laughs> <laughs> did they, um, did, what did the, what did the security guards do about it? Nothing. Typical! <laughs> <laughs> um, hard turn because I like being right. Uh, spring water can be better for you, but a lot of scientists think purified drinking water provides a better way for people to stay hydrated. What? A better way? Yeah. Interesting. We were saying not at all. Well, we saw that one show with... Uh, <laughs> we were saying quite the opposite. Just, if, if you're like, if you're <laughs> dying of thirst in the desert and someone's like, hey, I got a gallon of purified water, there's no shot anyone goes... It won't hydrate me. Yeah. <laughs> no, thank you. Pass. No, thank you. I think no, it'd be but funny we, to do like a new show where it's like we report everything with full confidence and then at the end we just like recap. Looks like we are telling you guys the complete opposite. We'll see you next week. <laughs> well, we saw that one show with uh, Zach Efron where he does like the whole traveling thing. I hate that show. And they went to, it was like a, I don't even know where it was, but they like specialize in different Water. Yeah, mm -hmm. he was a water sommelier. Yeah. Um, and he <laughs> talked about purified water. I'll show you the clip later. I'll tell you something, though. That's where we got our information. If you got me a tasting of, like, seven different waters, I could tell you which one each one was. What's the best? Like, what do you mean? Like, brands? Mm -hmm. Interesting. I yeah. think I could, too. Let's do it. Okay. Let's try I think that. I could actually beat Lily in that. Okay. Whoa. What are you talking about beat me in it? I, I have a better uh, palate than you. No, you do not, <laughs> Mister. I don't eat vegetables. That's why you don't eat vegetables. Not if I don't have to. Were you like grilling like zucchini yesterday? Yeah, he was yeah. because I made him. Oh yeah, but he ate it. You did eat it. Yeah, I like cooked vegetables. Yeah, yeah. but like really cooked. Yeah, he won't eat a lima bean. He has like no. PTSD from lima beans. Yeah, as a kid, <laughs> my my parents wouldn't let me leave the table until I had one lima bean, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I was there. I had to have been there for an hour. I choose death. <laughs> I will not eat this lima bean. I suppose I starve to death. See, isn't it interesting how you instantly switch into like a Whoa. Russian? Oh, uh -oh. I copied you. You started it. <laughs> you started it. Oh, I thought. I, <laughs> I don't no, remember. I, I was quoting the Rocky guy. Isn't he like oh, the choose yeah, death yeah. part? Yeah. I can't remember. No, he, he said something about if death, he right? dies. Oh, he, he dies. dies. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. Your Russian does sound better, Andy. Hey, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um, speaking, speaking of Russian, I want to circle back on the Earth's core because wrap around. I heard another terrifying theory. It's called like it's it's really whack, but they call it it's like the Adam and Eve theory. Okay, and so I talked about how the Earth have we not score, covered it? Adam and Eve covered. Oh, their nakedness. Because they're nakedness. Got it. Go ahead. Oh, um, my gosh. <laughs> so the Earth's core spinning the other way now, yeah. and it could create crazy weather pheno phenomenon. But this guy who's on the uh, Joe Rogan podcast, there's this theory out there. It's called, I think it's called the Adam and Eve theory. Um, but he's saying every, what was it, every 
I don't know, hundreds of thousands of years, Mm -hmm. the Earth's core stops. Okay. So the Earth stops spinning, and the magnetic poles completely switch. So it's like a cycle. It's like the Earth almost, like, flips. What? Yeah. And what happens with that um, is that if you were to stop the Earth, Mm -hmm. the, the momentum of the wind and waves and all that stuff... The wind would actually be a thousand miles an hour. Oh my goodness! If the Earth just stopped. <laughs> that would be terrifying. And it said it could create up to a, what was it? It was a two mile high, world wave. So this wave would just go. It's just a massive rogue tidal wave. If you just stopped, and so there's this theory that, which I don't believe. All right, and I'm. But it's a theory. It's a theory, and I thought it was interesting and yeah. scary. Um, that the Bible when it talks about. Um, the days of creation, days one through six, and uh-huh. on day seven, God rested. But this theory outside of the Bible is that every 100,000 years, 700,000 years, whatever it is, the earth flips and this thing just happens and it lasts for six days. And then on the seventh day, it starts spinning again. Okay. And so the theory is that Adam and Eve, the days of creation that was after this switch in the oh, pole that's interesting yeah and um that scared me <laughs> <laughs> so what does that well, mean no, though he's saying that i don't know he's he's basically saying we're due for it anytime now oh my goodness that would be rough <laughs> well so when would have been what have when would have been the last one adam and eve yeah the creation but like how does that work with the laws of thermodynamics and like centrifugal force, like if they believe in the Big Bang and everything's rotating out, spinning, how does something stop the inertia and revert? That that depends on what centrifugal force. Means. <laughs> what sounds like you guys are depends just making on, up a bunch of words. Depends on what is that word. <laughs> What's a thermodynamic? <laughs> well, I'll, uh, I'll ask. Uh, I'll answer that question with another question. Um, what did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> so yeah, I thought it was crazy, and um, this guy is like. He's like, yeah, you read all these foreign or these scientists talking about, yeah, if the Earth core stops, there would be some bad weather and stuff. He's like, no, if the Earth core stops, we all die. Yeah. Yeah. I said, what? Cool. very good, very good. That is whack. All right. <laughs> what? When? When's the last time we had like a worldwide type of catastrophe, like um, a natural disaster? You could say the flood. That would be worldwide. A worldwide did the ice flood. age? Do we think where where did the ice age fit in in all this? Uh, don't know. I don't know the timeline hey. of all that. <laughs> Whoa! But that got me Easy thinking there, of something. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay. Let's not move topics yet. Okay. Um, but I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> so, let, so continue. <laughs> well, it's, wait, it's, wait. Oh, it's coming oh back. My God. Wait. Uh, I don't believe any of this. <laughs> Uh, but also, <laughs> that's why you stop. <laughs> but also, um, God said that He would never destroy the world in a flood again. He did say that. Which, 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 can we just acknowledge that for a second? God's like, Noah, look at me. I promise you, I will never destroy the earth again. Thank you so much, God. By the flood. <laughs> Hold on. Back, 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 back. back, back up. up. <laughs> again, or like uh, by flood? Yeah. Again. It's like by so, a flood. so you're gonna do. So you're gonna. So you're possibly going to do it again yeah. in another way. In another manner. <laughs> Who's <Yes>. to say? <laughs> it's still early. Just <laughs> just not with a flood. Um, I just want to say, speaking of Ice Age, they made mammoths. Oh, my goodness. Did I they, saw that. I thought they were waiting to pull the trigger. No, they're 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 growing them now. Because Uh-oh. the closest rel- relative to the mammoth is the Asian elephant. Indian elephant. Indian elephant, yeah. which is Asia. Yeah. Um, uh, it's called the so, Indian elephant. Okay, okay, but it's in Asia, so I was partially it's correct. The Indian elephant. <laughs> <laughs> it's called that, though. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, to, to be fair, I was trying to figure out Indian elephant. Um, but uh, yeah, that's nuts. Yeah, that'll be crazy. Yeah, and they're they're because they want to see what the what is it tundra or yeah, like I need, to, I need to write more. No, you're, you're yeah. good. But, that, but that's the thing. It's but you, people can look it up. It's cr- absolutely crazy. And, yeah. I, and I I was listening to that and I was driving and I said this is Jurassic Park. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Well, it's literally Jurassic Park. I'm like, how did we? They knew that this was going to happen. Yeah, Yeah. they did. Where's Jeff Goldblum? How cool, like, is it that probably the majority of recorded history, all these humans, probably even past the majority of 
events in the Bible, yeah. never seen a mammoth. Yeah. yeah. And now we're going to be able to see one. And now we're going to be able to see that a mammoth. So but also think about what does that mean for endangered animals though? They're bringing back the dodo bird. Are they really? Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited we about don't, that one. Is it a possibility to never, like, endangered species is not a thing anymore? Not a thing anymore. What are we going to write our papers on in the sixth grade? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> so we can kill any animals now. <laughs> Guys. Dude, if you could It's bring... okay if you poach endangered species. <laughs> no, no, no. They'll be just, able to recreate they can later. bring them back. <laughs> if you could bring one. But your honor. They could just bring them back. <laughs> Put them in jail. <laughs> if you could bring one back, what would you bring back? Oh. Give me a list. I need a list. Need, we, uh, we talked about this the other day. What was that dog or that that thing? Tasmanian tiger. Yeah, Tasmanian tiger. That sounds dangerous. Oh, they're that crazy thing, looking. They're That's so why they're cool. called endangered. Oh, they're gone. Mm -hmm. You know what I? Because you're endangered. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but speaking of endangered, because we do, um, I do want to. I do come, come I, back to this. I do have an animal, but um, we have an ad. <gasps> nuh uh right now. Yeah. Okay. That's the uh, don't go anywhere. <laughs> hey, Josh. Yeah, Andy. I have a gift for you. That cake? Nope. It's Clearstream, baby. <laughs> wow, what a gift. <laughs> Clearstream, guys, you guys got to check this out. If you if you run an organization or if you work inside of a church and you need to communicate with your people, who do they need to use, Josh? Cake. Oh, Clearstream. Clearstream, not cake. <laughs> Even though Clearstream is full of wonderful ingredients like be able to text one-on-one -on -one with one another, be able to communicate anytime you want, be able to schedule text out. It's the best software to communicate with anybody possible with, a, like, for, if you want to talk to a lot of people, it's the best thing in the world. And guess what? Sounds like a piece of cake. <gasps> <laughs> it certainly <laughs> is. But get a slice of this. If you go to Clearstream. Oh, I'll look. <laughs> yeah. If you go to clearstream.io forward slash ninjas, guess what? You get 10% off for life. Wow. I know it. For life? <laughs> Dig your teeth into that. <laughs> cake. Platypus. Are those extinct? No. No, oh. those aren't extinct. Oh. They might be endangered, but they're not extinct. I would bring back the saber to the tiger. Why? You guys are picking really dangerous things. That would be awesome. I haven't picked anything yet. You oh, said I said the Tasmanian thing. Yeah. That's so the whole the whole thing, the reason it was extinct was because people thought it was dangerous. It's just a dog, but it's creepy looking. So they there was like a rumor and they eradicated them to oh, no. preserve sheep. But Oh really? Mm -hmm. So we did it intentionally we killed these animals. That's yeah. horrible. You know what I wouldn't we bring back? We ate them into extinction. <laughs> Yum. <clears throat> the dodo bird was delicious. Go ahead. Well, actually, they said that they didn't even eat the dodo bird because they, it, they tasted so terrible. Ew. Uh, what did it just, taste like? Doo -doo. Not good. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. They would just kill them for fun. That's mean. Um, I would not bring back the giant <laughs> sloth. Me neither. <laughs> Dude, how Me big neither. are those things? They're like at least, you should look it up. I don't want to like say. Giant sloths are giant. I mean, norms. I feel like they're like 15 feet tall. If not taller. Yeah, I think they're taller than that. That that was that was something I couldn't believe. Yeah. That was incredibly huge. Very scary. You know. You know, there's a um <clears throat> there's an animal I wish that we could make extinct. Go ahead. It's eight feet tall. Eight feet? A giant sloth? Yep. That's not as tall as I thought it was. I thought it was like two people. Eight feet tall is still pretty tall. That's yeah. the that's the height of the ceiling. Ugh. Yeah. That's it standing up. Mm -hmm. Okay. You ready for a hot take? Sure. Are you ready for a hot take? Uh, I'm open to hearing it. If I could choose to pick one animal to put into extinction, okay. Now, as of today, could made it could change. Kangaroos. Okay. Yeah, Josh would agree with you on that. They're scary. Okay, they are scary. Not only are they super buff, they kick you in the face and they can kill you. Yeah. They can drown you. <gasps> oh, drown? No, you? you don't know about this. Okay, this is nuts. You can look it up. It is 100% a real thing. If a kangaroo is in danger, they will flee into the water when they're being chased. Stop it. And no joke, there's photos of them just standing chest deep up in the water just going, Stop it. Ugh. And if you come in there, they will pick you up and push you down and they will drown you. Mm -mm. And the thing is, they won't even eat you because that's what not what they mean? eat. I think, they, they're, I think they're herbivores. So they just Cabin kill wars. you for the to survive. <laughs> they drown you. It's one thing to like attack them and like choke them out on land or something, oh but to drown gosh. something that a, would be they're a nuisance, right? In dude, Australia, yeah, they're crazy. They're like all they, over the place. You can just like kill them like they're just imagine being drowned by a kangaroo. <laughs> I, I might I might watch him in the wall. It's real fine. 
All right, seems safe enough. Come on, right okay. here. Yeah, if water feels good, I like no, it. No, 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 why'd you do this to me? <laughs> <laughs> I love kangaroo jack. <laughs> <laughs> I Wasn't think that- jellyfish. Jellyfish? Yeah. Get rid of them. They're so pretty, though. When I go to aquariums, that's what, that's probably one of my favorite things to go to. Just look at the jellyfish. Have you ever been stung? I have. Mm. Not intensely. Like it's just like the small ones. Like when yeah. you go like to Daytona or something like that. When I was in um, sixth grade, we did a marine biology field trip to the Keys, uh-huh. and we went snorkeling around like the reefs and stuff. So cool. And I was swimming with my goggles on, and I like this, you know. And I turn and a jellyfish wraps oh. around my face. <gasps> no way. Yeah. I've not heard this story. It hurt so, so bad. I can't imagine. And I got on the boat. I'm like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> and uh, one of my teachers oh. starts pouring just like. Urine? No. <laughs> just your teacher it, has their, a bottle Their of urine? own urine? No. <laughs> I got a bottle. Windex. Water. Just water. Like. <laughs> And the hot? the marine or the scuba people like don't pour water it makes it worse I'm like ah yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they had they had like a vinegar yeah. water yep. solution that helped vinegar water <laughs> yeah, <she's just laughs> like the lifeguard's like um yeah I got some uh, vinegar water I'm gonna go get it real quick <laughs> <laughs> why is use, it warm <laughs> you can use vinegar water you can use a uh, Windex the ammonia. We'll neutralize it. But that sounds like mm. Big Fat Greek Wedding. Yeah. Put some Windex on it. And also, like, at the beach, quick, grab Windex. <laughs> <laughs> does, any, does anybody have Windex? The no, we're at the beach. <laughs> the lifeguards do. If they have a, a tower with windows, because mm. the salt messes them up, so they'll have them. Give me but a Windex. I got I got wrapped up by a Portuguese man of war, oh. and that is the worst pain I've ever been in. Can't you die? They yeah. can. It for four hours. I was literally like I was shaking. Oh. You were dead for four hours. I was dead. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Holy cow! Tell wow. us what you saw. It was yeah. it was so weird though. Like I'd handled the pain, but it hadn't gone away, and I'm literally just trembling, like watching myself shake because it's like a toxin that goes in. Goodness, yeah, you're lucky a kangaroo wasn't there. <laughs> oh, yeah, for on, real. On that subject, true story. The intent is debated. Like, why are they doing that? But yeah, for sure, they it's, drowned you. Yeah, That's a terrifying photo I just found. They're so scary. Oh, you found a photo of it? Yeah. Oh, We're someone not drowning drown? someone, but... Dude, the way, they, the way they just stand up. And actually, I kind of want a tattoo of just like the water ripples and just like the top nope, half of a nope. puffed kangaroo. Oh my God. Dude, they should. They, that needs to be like a horror film. It yeah. is. Yeah, it says never go What's into <laughs> water. If you see a kangaroo looking, never enter the water. It's, oh my, it's, it's baiting. So I've scary. I've never heard that in my life. It's so scary. And now I know. You it's a real fear. Never go to remember Australia. Like the picture of the guy decking, or the video of the guy decking. Oh yeah, because yeah, he's going after his dog. Because it's going after his dog. Yeah. He saves the dog and then she's like, all right, I'm going to finish this. But he's just like, he's doing this with the kangaroo. The, and he, don't they, they have actually claws? They have claws that could gut you, right? They definitely have claws, but I, I think a lot it's of their, it's, it's the kick. Feet. Yeah. Because yeah, they balance on their tail. That is insane. They their balance are, on their tail? When yeah. they kick, they lean back on their tail, which is extremely dense and strong. It's a muscle. Like Tigger. And then, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. exactly like Tigger. <laughs> just like Tigger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, babe. Just like Tigger. <laughs> like Tigger. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I would get rid of wasp. Oh, yeah. What are they serving? What I don't purpose? like, I don't like flying bugs. They're just yeah. terrible. Bees, I understand. Yeah. We need bees. We yeah. do. I, Bumblebees, cute. Cute. <laughs> wood bees, you know wood bees? Like the ones that are like that big. Oh, yeah. Oh, cute. And they're, they're harmless. They don't do anything. What? But they're annoying, but they're, they're good. They don't do anything? No, yeah. like they, I mean, oh. I'm sure they serve a purpose, but like they don't like, they can't sting you or anything like oh, that. Oh, really? I didn't yeah, know they that. just like, they, they're, they have terrible sight apparently and they just run all over the place. But. <laughs> But yeah, uh, um, but hornets or wasps or something. Yeah. Oof, get those red out. ones. Those red ones. Dude. Get them out. Suckers. Have you seen the, oh, the the velvet ants? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought that was so cool. I found one as a kid. I was like, oh, that's so fun. It's a fuzzy ant. Did you get bit by it? No. Luckily, I heard, I I heard didn't. that it's one of the worst bug bite pains. Yeah, they had them all the time in Kansas. Oh. Yeah, and they make yeah. that noise. Like, yeah, yeah. Ew. It's super weird. Wait, when have you guys ever seen They're massive. They're in Florida. They're like those like bright red velvety ants. Yeah, they're big. Ew. Velvety big. ants. I what is that, velvet? <laughs> 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 I want to go like back. Jazz? <laughs> I want to go back to carpenter bees. If we have any viewers who think that they can pick them up, it says like they can sting you. The females do. So the, I guess the males don't. But wow. maybe maybe hey, don't females, risk it. Females, what's your problem? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What did we do wrong? I, would, I, I just want to say, speaking of 
Kangaroos. Oh, kangaroos. In Australia. Oh, roo. G'day, mate. Ah, hey, yeah, we also just need... Never mind, go ahead. I was just going to say, we need Lily to do a British accent. Oh, my God. That's true. I just got immediately anxious. (laughs) (laughs) I'm not going to do it. You have to. You have to to keep this podcast going. If you don't... keep it going? Yeah. We can't move on until you do. There's people that are like, Lily needs to do a British accent. So we need... Can you just get like one simple sentence? Oh, my gosh. Um, maybe from um, Pride and Prejudice, Britain's top twenty film quotes. Don't sure. make, don't make it too wordy because then I can't do yeah. it. Yeah, should just make her read Andy's song in a British accent. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, I'm nervous. Did you get something? I'm trying to find something. Okay. Um, I'm gonna sound like uh, it's not gonna be posh. It's like uh, like Cockney. Let's do, okay, best no. Harry Potter quotes because they're all British, right? Yeah. Let's figure out a good Harry Potter quote. Except for the Asian. Oh, yeah, she's Irish, right? Or <laughs> Scottish. Scottish, Scottish yeah. yeah. Which, I mean, they're under English rule. True. Yeah. You guys remember that Starburst commercial where they called out Asian Scottish people? I don't. Really? No. Nope. They're like, it's juicy, or it's ju- juicy like a liquid, solid like a something. And they're like, that's a contradiction. And it's Asians talking in Scottish accents. <laughs> Like the whole point of the commercial was it can't happen. <laughs> wait, wait, what? what? Uh, that's actually pretty. Yeah, I don't remember you know, that, but that's really funny. That's when you know the marketing was good. Yeah. Like years later, it sticks with me. Or the Skittles commercial where there's like a random dude, dude who looks like a cat. Skittles is Skittles, so good. Yeah. Skittle commercials are phenomenal. Yeah. Shout out, Alan. Right, you got to just choose right. something. I'm you got to say, you got to say, stop, stop, stop. You're going to take someone's eye out. I don't. Besides, see. you're saying it wrong. <laughs> it's Leviosa, not Leviosa. I can't do that part. You got. <laughs> Come on, British. I'm so nervous. Just, just channel her mind. Gotta accept it. You can close your eyes and say yep. it. Yep. I don't. Don't look at me. Okay, I'm not looking. I don't want to do it. You have to, Lil. <laughs> Stop. Hey, that, hey, was, that was good. That was good. Great. You got it. Perfect. Go ahead. I forgot the line. Stop. 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 You're going to take someone's eye out. Besides, you're saying it wrong. Stop. 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 You're going to take. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, no, 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 you, you had can. it. You had it. I don't want to do it. You, you have be to. In the moment. So who who's saying it wrong? Right in the who's the Ron? It's Ron, right? So Ron's in front of you. He's messing up the whole spell. Mm. You've got to correct when him. Guardian Leviosa. Oh my gosh. When Guardian Leviosa. <laughs> that was good. There you go. Say so it's Leviosa. It's when is Leviosa, it? not Leviosa. That was good. That was no, very was good. Up. It that really was, was. Yes. That was very good. My it face was is very right. Good. Can you tell? <laughs> <laughs> that was very good, I can't, I can't do Good it. job. Good job. Way to go. Way you are British. Mom, mom, mom. You guys are patronizing me. save the queen. Me. Huh? You guys are patronizing me. No, we're not. Yes. That was really good. <laughs> it was it's, good. You hustled us. <laughs> I'm not good at British accents. Here's a perfect one. <gasps> no, <shut laughs> stop, <up>. stop, stop, stop. <laughs> You always say that when your mom does accents. What is she? What is it? <laughs> My mom can't do accents at all. <laughs> and every time she does an accent, she sounds like someone who's deaf. Yeah. First of all, like trying to talk, <laughs> oh, no, I, but with an that. accent. That's why. Yeah, no, it's 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 fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, you're fine. How was that not? <laughs> Don't address it. Go. You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> okay. But, you but she like, but she tries. Well. But they're like, no, it was good. No, we said that was <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Yeah, Kelsey can't do accents either. It's really funny. Well, she is half deaf, right? <laughs> yeah, she is half deaf. Yeah, yeah. See? It's all adding up. <laughs> <laughs> Why? And we're connecting. <laughs> Gosh, it's okay. It's my Come wife. Come on, it's good. We're yeah. good. Yeah. What do you always say when you tell her something? I say, you know, like it's hard talking to Kelsey because it goes in one ear and. <laughs> That's the end. <laughs> I love her though. Um. Okay. I want to circle back for a brief minute to owls. Owls. We've had a lot of people send us pictures and videos of owls. Andrew asked me the other day, he said, where do you think your fear of owls comes from? I said, I don't know. And he said, well, what's your lineage? I said, English, Scottish, Irish. Yeah. There's there's a lot of folklore in around these owl? regions around owls. Oh, like um, what? I'll let Andrew tell you. <clears throat> yeah, he, us. So, yeah, in 1976, there is a story. There's a family. They're on 
back then's version of an Airbnb holiday and where they're staying is near a church. There's a graveyard next to the church and these two girls go off playing and they're not, it's not like a creepy family that's just close in proximity. And when they got near the graveyard, there happened to be an ominous figure hovering over the stones and the way they described it is a large man like owl or man with an owl head and wings Ugh. hovering somewhere between like eight and 10 feet over the ground, making like whispers, crackles, and sounds. They ran whispers, away. Whispers, crackles. It was making some sort of bird sound. Whisper, whisper, crackle, crackle. <laughs> but yeah, so they, they ran away, just couldn't be consoled. Family had to leave. And you know, like where people are in shock and it's just like, you, they're not listening. Yeah. You can't talk to them. The kids remained in that state for quite some time, <gasps> whatever they'd say. But seen. it goes back even further than that. Like they would, mm-hmm. uh, the owl represented, what did it represent? Just death? Oh, or yeah, the, yeah. The, so the, the owl in, I think it's Scottish. Uh, yeah. Lore and legend um, represented death because they, they, you know, do most of their hunting at night. And so they associate them with darkness and like carriers of people in the underworld or something mm-hmm. like yeah. that. But even in like Asian culture too, like they, mm-hmm. the it's, owl represents like evil. Yep. Mm-hmm. Or Interesting. Like the devil. The devil. Um, so. I jumped the gun there. Yeah. My, <laughs> my um, fear of owls is validated. <laughs> validated. They are evil. I love that we have these irrational fears of uh, animals now, kangaroos and owls. I had said the other day when we were like on a walk, because there's an owl in our neighborhood and we we keep hearing it when we go for walks. I've seen it. Yeah. It's it. Anytime anytime we go out, it's always there. I always, um, I have this toxic habit of trying to finish anybody's sentence before they finish it. Mm -hmm. And often I'm wrong on what they were going to (laughs) say. And you were like, you were like, or I said something, I don't know, but you said, like, I've always been really sensitive to, and I was like, the spirit realm. And you were like, birds. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Just birds. Just birds. <laughs> you know, there's actually someone here at Sunday Cool that actually claims to have been possessed by an owl at one point. And they're like, what? Who? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I saved that TikTok and everything. Oh no! I almost asked it too. I was, <laughs> I, I was bamboozled. Oh, That's no. good. What well done? <laughs> oh man! That was good. What? Who? <laughs> I love it. Um. So yeah, uh, owls are dumb. Owls are creepy. I I, I just yeah. imagine like I just imagine like a a. That would be really terrifying, like a tall person just yeah. with the head of an owl. Yeah. That would be nightmare fuel. Yeah. yeah. Not to get into Bohemian Grove. Well, I was anything. just about to say that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What are we sharing a brain? Stop <laughs> thinking my thoughts. You guys know the All Bohemian right, Grove? Quick, before we go on. Oh, oh, oh. Three, two, one. Same word. Go. Three, two, one. Sandwich. Pudding. Sandwich, Both would food. you say? Pudding. Both food. Pudding. Both food. Sandwich. Yeah. You have to go again. Pudding. Sandwich. Three, two, one. Soccer. Tomato. Oh. Okay, soccer, tomato. One last try. Both try to spheres. get the same words. You both said soccer. You both said tomato. Try to put those two together. What would you say? Three, two, one. Red. Ritz. Okay, moving on. Ritz. <laughs> I saw like a Ritz cracker on. Oh, <laughs> soccer to Ritz. Nothing to do with red and soccer. Though. I couldn't. My it's brain wasn't box. thinking fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's all but right. I was actually the second time I was thinking the word red. Oh. Which is weird. We can't. We can't trust her. Though. I trust her. <laughs> She's my wife. Um, Bohemian Grove, you know about that? I know very little, but okay. I've heard rumors because well, it's very it, mysterious. It is. It is. It's a, uh, It's a. I guess you call it a campsite of whatever. Retreat center retreat, kind of thing. Probably, yeah, yeah more a retreat A very center. secret retreat center. Where like the elites go. Yeah. Mm. Presidents. Yeah. Famous people. I've never been able to make it. I've been invited every year. <laughs> um, but it's in Northern California. In the woods. In the woods. And this is there it's in like a tiny podunk town, like uh-huh. nothing going on but Bohemian Grove. Except for this mass meeting of world leaders. Yeah. <laughs> but um in cloaks. There's a video of Alex Jones who yeah. Hey, our boy. Our boy. Alex Jones, here's the thing about Bohemian Grove. Let me do it real quick. <laughs> what does he say about Hillary Clinton? Oh she's a She's a, a lizard. Yeah. <laughs> She, she, she smells, smells like sulfur. She smells like sulfur. <laughs> and she's going to eat your baby. And she's a goblin woman. A goblin woman. You look at the top of her head, there's a zipper. She comes out, she's a lizard man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But 
he did sneak into Bohemian Grove. Yeah. So let's I think get, he was invited. No, he was not. Oh, forget about it. Because <laughs> he definitely got oh. kicked out <laughs> and got in trouble for it. But he got footage of being in there. Yeah. yeah. And they have this this one of the nights they do a ceremony in front of the their god Molech, which mm-hmm. is this giant, giant rock carved like a statue man. Cool. Cool. Sorry, a, a statue rock, owl. Statue owl. Oh no way! Yeah. A statue like a owl. This giant owl head, and they do There's like something a, to they it. They do like a mock uh, human sacrifice in front oh of it, goodness. and they're all wearing like robes and like. <laughs> and there's like screaming, and then like I'm just, a, I'm just, ni- a knife coming down on this yeah. mock sacrifice of a human. I know it's I know that's really serious stuff, but I just imagine like if every president went there, just you have like George Bush. Who my god, who my god? I don't know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> I don't get it. I'm um, just happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> the children is our future. Is That's our future. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that was my cousin Mary's, you know, you uh, she went to an all-girls school, Bougie, in Buckhead, Georgia. And um, you pick a quote when you graduate <laughs> yeah. to walk across the stage. Everyone's wearing white in these beautiful dresses. And she picked that. Who uh, who are, is our children learning? Oh yeah, is, but, is our children? Is our Bush, children? That was her not? quote that she had when she walked across. The so stage. good, um, but yeah. So the mock sacrifices, like th- what else but, happened there? Um, uh, I don't know. They just have like meetings and stuff, and it's like it's really weird. Yeah, like, but the, just, he he said it's like it's very like fraternity yeah, like, like, and they do like um like initiations. It seems like, like something. I won't go into it because yeah. it's really disturbing. It, it sounds like something that like they started a long time ago and they're doing a lot of it just to keep tradition up and because yeah. it's this, so there's like this folklore around it. Yeah. Really well, it, stuff. It, it makes sense because like. Well, what's um, up with the owl? That's what I'm saying. That's so weird. That and the symbolism it for Moloch, an owl. Because that is, I mean, that. Moloch is the god. god is recognized in scripture. Small yeah. G, yeah. Small G god. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Little G. Um, But Moloch was the god where they would sacrifice babies Ugh. yeah in in the bible and so they have the god molech yeah. yeah but it has an owl head it's just weird the symbolism's weird nah, yeah. that was strange it. man man it's just like all That's over because like they try to like make it like seem like it's just this the cute little creature you look at pooh bear yeah mr owl oh, or, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just nah, everything's fine but no he's up to something no, he's up to something i think the best depiction of kind of what that practice looks like is actually indiana jones which is the creepiest. Oh, the um, Red is the Lost Ark. Yeah, yeah, right. No, no, no the yeah. Lost the the Doom or the is it Temple of Doom? Temple of Doom. Okay. That's the worst one. Yeah, that's oh. a scary one. I've only seen the first yeah. one. Oh, dude, you is, I thought that is the first one. No, the first one is uh, Raiders of Lost, Lost Ark. Ark. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. No, you're wrong. I'm pretty sure you're wrong. It's the first one. <laughs> it's the only one I've seen. All right. <laughs> Wait. So okay, I think it's Temple like, of Doom. Just to bring this up again, Mr. Jones. Some- I love that guy. Dr. He's great. Jones. Dr. Jones. You're some and he movie, won an award. Movie aficionado, and you've not seen all the Indiana Jones. Or Braveheart. Or Braveheart. Or Patriot. Or Patriot. Yeah, I don't know. It's so weird. Because I, I, I can't say that I just haven't watched older movies, because I have. Like, I've seen 12 Angry Men. Have you guys seen 12 Angry Men? No. Mm-mm. Of course. That's like a top 10 movie of all time. And oh. it's... Uh, incredible incredibly good but there's a lot of ones i haven't seen i need to start making a list and just really go through them yeah we need to do you know it'd be fun is if we became like actual like uh subject matter experts on movies and then we taught a film class in a college mm. that'd be really fun this movie is good but i next I, <laughs> the symbolism is always lost on me i think it's because i don't have the intellect for it but i took a film class in college and they had us watch citizen kane i'm like i don't get it <laughs> we'll I, I, yeah. I took a film class in um uh, high school and I loved it. Really, I learned a lot. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I took one in college. I loved it. It was supposed to be my elective. That was really easy, and I got so much information mm. and almost bombed the class. But I use everything from that class on a consistent basis. Which is the first thing you Jones? Did you look it up? No, I didn't. It's uh, Raiders of the Lost. It's hundred percent Raiders of the Lost. Art. I just, I just want to be proved wrong. Yeah. Do you guys proven wrong? Do you guys like the Transformers movies? No. Heck no. Um, I like Shia LaBeouf. I like the first one. Did you know? Do you know like the one in like 2006 or uh, it was somewhere around that time, 2008? They had a marketing campaign. They says you know like everyone gets to vote. The top vote for uh, you know you get they get to suggest a line for the movie, and with the top voted one gets to be in the movie. And you wow. know which one won for <laughs> Optimus Prime? No. <laughs> what <laughs> the line that, that one was? I'm going to turn into a truck now. <laughs> 
<laughs> and the, and the studio it saw it and they nixed it. They took it down. They did not let Optimus Prime say it. Lame. And that was one. It was like, I'm going to turn into a truck now. <laughs> Autobots. <laughs> Autobots turn into vehicles. <laughs> I was like, could you just imagine how funny that would have been? That if would, did, they, did they do that as a joke? No, they were actually oh, they're being they're, serious. They're, they're, it was a marketing thing. It was like, hey, get to choose <laughs> Optimus Prime's line. And oh, then, so like the public. Yeah, so it. yeah, so like the Transformers. So as, it was a joke, probably. Like people were like, "We gotta get oh, him to yeah, say." Oh, that. Yeah, hundred percent. So the, like yeah. that was the top rated, like the top voted one, and everyone was like, "Oh, that's gonna be hilarious." Kind of like how they did that one boat. That one time, it's like Mister, oh. like McBody, McBoderson, or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. It's like I, that, that's like that's when I have hope for humanity. Yeah, at those moments yeah, like that. Never let the public vote on names. No. they're always gonna <laughs> pick the funny one. All right, you ready? Indiana Jones in order. Yeah, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Woo! Temple of Temple Doom, of Doom yep. mm. Last Crusade, mm. the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. I actually which, like that one. I saw I've that seen, I've wait, seen the clip whoa, whoa, of the nuclear, whoa, whoa, whoa. the nuclear, uh, like blowing. Where up he's thing. in the fridge. <laughs> it's the dumbest thing in the no, world. No, it's not. Yes, it is. I think that just unlocked a memory for me. Because what those things are so creepy. The, the crystal the head fake, things. No, the fake towns where they oh, practice. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Why do they got to do all that? To see the destruction, what it can do. It's plastic. No, they're real just houses. The, like the, no, like the people. She's you're sorry. Oh, the, the people, people and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I how don't know. They she, probably do some more that? accurate she stuff. Said people. Because I get what she was saying. Like the plastic. I knew she didn't mean the houses were made out uh -oh, of plastic. Are Andy and I married now? <laughs> Our brains are in sync. <laughs> 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 she starts speaking Russian. Uh oh, <laughs> Lily, no! <laughs> I outed him. Oh no! Um, you liked. The Crystal Skull? Sure. I liked it too. What yeah. on earth? I saw it in the movie theater. I also love Shia LaBeouf. Yeah. Wait, I've, heard people just, I've heard people hated that movie. Yeah. Because got, it's, I mean, like, it's not amazing. Because but. it's supposed to be somewhat realistic. But like that whole like that whole scene alone, apparently, like I've just seen the clip. And it's like, that's so here's, ridiculous. Here's, here's he was flown miles in that fridge. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> she was on that. blown away yeah. miles. Yeah. Well, that, that always brings it. I always ask people this question and they think it's so dumb. But what about... Falling in an elevator kills you. <laughs> <laughs> and don't you think if you just jumped at the last second, you'd be fine? <laughs> <laughs> we talked about this just before. Time to I now. forget what the argument or like what I was saying. You were like, your organs will explode or rupture. Yeah, or you just like hit. Yeah, you're, well, slamming. Yeah. you're still falling. You're still falling. For every action, yeah. there's an equal and opposite reaction. So to negate it, you'd have to equal and matched energy transferred up instead of just down. The elevator what? is all of this mass descending. You'd have to match that. Is that potential energy? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's <laughs> <connect? laughs> correct. <laughs> but but you see, you'd have you'd have to thrust yourself up at the same velocity and. So you'd have to rate. jump. So if you fall in an elevator, jump. So if you're if you're just falling from that right. <laughs> The, the equation is going to be completely. You, just, you keep jumping. You're like, I don't know. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know when we're going to hit. I, I, would just, I, me, I would just have Josh. I would just have Josh hold me. Because then I just wouldn't be touching the ground. Right? There you go. There you go. But then do you hit the ceiling? I don't know. I don't know how the They did it on works. Mythbusters. They just, have to, they just have to shovel me off the ceiling. They did it on Mythbusters. So my question's not dumb. No. Because they asked it. Well, I guess. It's kind of like that whole thought I know process. You were the one that said it was a dumb question. I was not. You guys laughed I at me. Not. You guys laughed at me. You're like, you're you, you, still falling. Yeah. Duh. It's kind of like that whole uh, question. Like if you're in the, you're in a speed train and you jump up and you land in the same I, spot, but when you're on top of the train, like, and you jump, right. you're going to be in a different spot. I got it. <laughs> Exp easy explanation. Don't go well, too we, deep. We, we, Super, we know what nope, it is. It's nope. wind resistance. Nope. <laughs> If you're it's, if the elevator falls from a hundred feet to negate it, you'd have to be able to jump up a hundred feet or at the same speed. I Same don't know. velocity. My Whatever. Cousin, my cousin <laughs> took like physics four. I'll call her later. Yeah, she built you, rockets. You should. Um, I also ask another question. Okay. Okay. Did we already talk about this on the podcast? But we, we, I asked Tana um, Hayward, and she knew she was prepared for the question. What Wait. about cannibalism makes you crazy? Is it the act of eating another person breaks your mind, or is there a chemical in the meat that makes you crazy? She said both. She said there is actually a chemical in the meat that makes you crazy. How? What? What is it? And why I ask this question is those mothers that eat their own placentas and stuff oh, like yeah. that. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Lily. What? Okay. I will, I'm like, does it make you a little crazy? 
Okay. To make it look or you said, is that cannibalism? Is that cannibalism? Self cannibalism. I don't like this question. All right, fine. We is there anything? By, <laughs> is there anything <laughs> else that's close to it? That's that we do. That's normal. That's normalized. By, by like, that logic, that. biting your fingernails is cannibalism. You don't you swallow eat your it. Fingernails? Do you eat? Do you swallow your fingernails? <laughs> <laughs> when we find out answers, he's like, "Yeah, what else would you do with them? Throw them in the trash? <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna waste your fingernail <laughs> like that? Ew! I guess people we eat- open this drawer. <laughs> this is a cup of fingernails. <laughs> <laughs> it's like meal planning. <laughs> They're labeled by days. Ew, the thumb oh. versus the pinky. Well, I have a lot more, but yeah. we can save it. Yeah. Are we gonna do this again? A podcast? Yeah. Should we, guys? Should we? <laughs> should we? Should we do a podcast again? Do you like us? <laughs> if so, leave us a five-star review somewhere. Yeah, because, I don't know, we want more people to, if you like it, maybe more people will like it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, for, but for real, guys, um, we love you. We do. We will do this again. Unless one of us dies. Until the day we die. Oh. Which could be today. It could be any day. It could be. <laughs> Um, yeah, subscribe to our YouTube, Sunday yes. Cool, Sunday Cool Tees. Uh, Tell somebody about this podcast. Yeah, yeah, share this podcast with someone. Say, hey. If you love it. Hey, Grandma, listen to these guys. Hey, hey, Sweet Cheeks across the street. No, don't do that. No, what? No, no, no. no. Yeah, oh, okay, sorry. Let me do it. Can I do it again? Sure. Hey, baby. No. Nope. <laughs> oh, oh, what? <laughs> no, can't do no, that. Oh, can't, can't call? No, no, no. Oh, man. No, darn can't it. Call. I don't. thought it was uh, 1920s for a second. No, it's not. <laughs> I thought it was a New York construction worker in the 1920s. <laughs> sure are. Um, yeah, leave us five star review on. Look at the legs on that tomato. Nope, can't do that. Oh man, no, no cat calling. But you can give us five stars on Spotify, Apple. Leave a written review on Apple. Comment on the video on YouTube and just tell us how your day's going. And don't get in water because kangaroos will drown you. Yep. Okay, we love you. Bye. Mwah. Thanks for the gifts, guys. Welcome. Happy, Happy birthday. Smlam rafli snaf. I've got to say it. Ninjas are butterflies. Mother Russia, oh, no. I'm coming home. Oh, gosh. Did I say ninja? I meant butterfly. The butterfly is no doubt one of God's ah! most beautiful Has it empty your mind? You were martial arts. Ha! Ninjas attack! Hey, Kels. Yo. You're on the pod. Oh, What's up? Ah, oh, just kidding. I was just going to see if you're on your way home yet. Not yet. No. I'm on my way home as soon as I get off the phone with you. All right. Hi, friends on the pod. Love you. Hi, Josh and Will. Hey, Kelsey. Right, the podcast we love you, Kelsey. Over. Please don't talk to my wife. Sorry. Please don't talk to my wife. Hey, Kelsey. Love you. Hey. Love you. Love you. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs>